Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Diana, and in today's video, I will be doing a full face of first impressions using only drugstore products. So I am super excited. I have some new launches from e.l.f. and Maybelline and other products that I haven't tried yet. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is one of their new items that they just launched. Um, they do have a regular camo concealer. I haven't tried that one in the past, so I can't compare that one to this one as I'm trying it on. Um, however, this one says that it is hydrating and long wearing and that it is, I believe it said it was full coverage. Yeah, so it is full coverage. I have been doing my makeup a little bit differently lately, um, but in the end, it all should come together. Oh, and then I forgot to tell you guys the shade, but this one is in light sand. So the applicator itself is pretty big. It does remind me of the Tarte Shape Tape applicator. Um, so I got a little bit on the back of my hand there. I will be taking a little brush and just shaping under my brows. I just realized I was supposed to apply my primer first, <laughs> but it should be okay. I will apply it after this. And then after I fill in my brows, I will go back into the concealer and shape the top area of my brow. So next up, I have another product from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I have their original e.l.f. Putty Primer. This one is in Universal Sheer. I love this primer. It does a really good job at filling in the pores and just smoothing everything out. So I'm really excited to try the Luminous one because this one says that it is infused with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen. They also came out with a mattifying one. Usually I would reach for the mattifying primer instead of the luminous one, but lately I've really been liking more hydrating products because it is winter. I do have um, oily combination skin and I usually lean towards oily skin, but during the winter months my face does get a little bit more dry. Um, all right, so oh, you can definitely see it has like a glow to it um so it wow yeah i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but there catch that can you say it again that was scary <laughs> no google so it has like a bunch of mini shimmers like if i look closer you can see a bunch of little shimmers i'm not 100 percent sure how I feel about that, but I guess we'll see how the foundation looks on top of it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the brows. I'm gonna let the primer just kind of sit on my face a little bit and uh, just melt into the skin. So I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Brown. Um, this isn't one of their new items, but it is new to me. I haven't tried it out yet, so I definitely want to see how this performs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in my brows. So brows are done. This brow pencil is so good. I actually really enjoyed using it. It was very easy to work with. I, one of my 2020 resolutions is to get better at doing brows because I always feel like I have such a problem with brows so if they look too blocky right now I am still practicing so I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the concealer and just clean up the top and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about this concealer because I realized I didn't tell you guys as much when I applied it down here and on my eyelid so the consistency of this concealer is uh, a bit thick and it is pretty easy to blend out however I was a little bit confused because this is supposed to be a hydrating concealer and I noticed that it did cling on to some dry patches that I have down here under my brow so we'll see how this performs like under the eyes and we'll go from there but as of right now um, that is the only issue that I noticed everything else is fine like it blends out pretty well all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to eyeshadow i have the 3503 fierce by nature eyeshadow palette by morphe i'm really excited to try this one out because this was a gift from my husband and also when i asked you guys for recommendations on makeup um one of you guys said anything by morphe so i did pick up a few items from you guys's recommendations as well that i'm going to be trying out today um but i'm gonna go ahead and get 
get started with this shade right here. In my experience, uh, I think pretty much every eyeshadow palette I have tried from Morphe has blended out just fine. Like I hadn't really, I haven't really had any issues with them. So we'll see how this one does. But so far it looks pretty good. I really like this shade. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to take this shade right here. This one is called Jolt and I'm going to apply that um, like right on the outer corner and then just bring it up on the crease and then a little bit on the inner area as well to darken things up a little bit. I'm having a little bit of issue blending right here, but this is a darker shadow. Um, so sometimes those can be a little bit tricky to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to this shade right here called Frenzy. It is this one right there. Um, and I'm going to apply that on my lid, like right in the middle. So I'm just going to take some with my finger and go right in there. All right, so now I'm going to go back in to the shade Jolt, which is the second shade we used. But I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and uh, I'll see if I can blend out a little bit more. I'll probably go in with uh, this light shade right here and just try and blend out a little bit more. All right, you guys, so for eyeliner, I'm going in with the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner, and the one that I have um, is in the shade Numero Uno, which is just your uh, usual black uh, eyeliner. I have used this uh, once, and I did like the way it performed. So this one isn't exactly a first impression, but I thought I would include it uh, because it's still pretty new to me. So eyeliner is done. I really do think I like this eyeliner. Like it's very pigmented, it dries down matte, um, and the last time I wore it, it didn't transfer. So I think this is a pretty good eyeliner. It's very affordable. Um, I will be linking <laughs> as many products as I can down in the description box. So if you guys are interested in checking any of them out, uh, they will be down there. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. So the foundation I'm trying out is by Maybelline. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It says it is a hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and collagen. So this sounds very intriguing. And the one that I got is in the shade Classic Ivory. So I already have my damp uh, Wonder Blender here with me so I did put some of the foundation on the back of my hand as you guys can see this is a pretty thick consistency um, and then the claims of the foundation are that it gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration it visibly improves the look of skin it has medium coverage with a radiant finish and it doesn't clog pores all right so those are some pretty good claims so here is the side of the face with the foundation and this side without it so i feel like you can definitely definitely see a difference there i feel like the coverage is pretty nice it is definitely medium coverage so i think if you want to get a fuller coverage uh, you'll probably have to add a little bit more foundation but i think i'll be okay with that doesn't look bad so foundation is on i think it looks pretty nice i really like the finish it looks pretty natural it does have a really nice glow to it so i'm gonna go back in with the elf hydrating camo concealer and we're gonna see how that works out under the eyes let me get a little bit more right here you have to work a little bit fast with this concealer which is a little bit weird to me because it's supposed to be a hydrating concealer however I feel like it is a bit more I don't know I, I don't know if I want to say like on the drier side I don't know but it did cling to those dry patches earlier so another thing I'm noticing is that this doesn't seem to emphasize any fine lines. Same with the foundation. Usually I get creases around my mouth, but I don't see any creasing yet. So that's great. All right. And then I'm just taking whatever is left over on the sponge and applying a little bit in between the brows and down the nose. Just to brighten that area up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit down on my chin as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to powder. So I have the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. So this is another one of e.l.f.'s uh, new makeup items. And uh, the claims are that it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish. Um, so the shade that I got is in medium. They have light, medium, and dark. Hopefully this works out pretty well. I was going to go with light, but I didn't want it to um, be too light for me. So 
I don't know we'll see how this works out <laughs> so they have this thing here so you can like open and close that area like it spins and then you can peel off the little sticker I was so confused all right sticker is off why is this such a struggle? I am so confused. I think there's another sticker under that one. Why? Why would you do that? All right, you guys, so I finally got it open. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lid. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> I know, like, I just put it on, but right away I could tell that it, it was definitely giving me a blurring effect, which is great. It was a bit hard to open, but I think it's worth it. And you guys probably won't have that big of an issue opening this up. I don't know why it was so hard for me to open it up. <laughs> and I appreciate that they didn't put any shimmers in this because I was a little bit worried that they might have, that they might do that. So I'm really glad they didn't. I think my skin looks pretty nice, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to contour. So I have the Pro Fusion Highlights and Contour One palette. Um, I think I have tried Pro Fusion in the past, but I honestly don't remember if I did. It was years ago. Um, but I have heard pretty good things about Profusion and they are very affordable. So I really hope that this works out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this middle shade down here. This one is called Light Sculpt. And I want to go ahead and try that one out and see how it looks. I don't want to go in <laughs> too deep. Uh, to begin with so we'll see how pigmented this is and we'll go from there i think that looks pretty good i like that shade um it's not too warm either so i think it does a pretty good job uh for contouring and i always say contouring weird <laughs> so just putting that out there i think this is pretty good it blended out very well i like the shade i think it looks pretty good on the skin so yeah i'm happy i'm happy with it <laughs> i'm taking the the shade cream light which is this one right here and i'm just gonna brighten a little bit under the eyes especially where i went a little bit too high with the uh, middle shade that blends out really nicely i really like that i'm also gonna try out the highlighting shades right here um, let me go ahead and swatch these. So you have Impulse and what is that? Heartfelt. Okay, so this is what those look like. They did feel a little bit powdery, but we'll see how they look on the face. Hmm. I'll probably go with Impulse because um, this is more of a warm look. So let me see what Hype looks like. Ooh, Hype looks really pretty. That was very buttery. I don't. I wonder why. That was different than the other two but we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush and then we'll come back to this one so moving on to blush i have the elf primer infused blush in the shade always cheeky so i think they already had these out um so i don't think this is a new item from elf but they do have a new one that is primer infused that has shimmers um unfortunately i didn't see those uh when i uh, went out and picked up some of these items. So I decided to give this one a try because I haven't tried this one out yet It's giving me uh, Luminoso vibes. I love that blush, but without uh, all the little shimmers. This might be uh, One of my new favorites. I, I actually really like this. Okay, so basically the claims of this uh, blush is that it's long-lasting um, it says the blush is easy to blend, perfectly pigmented for ease of application, and grips to your cheeks like second skin. I definitely agree with all of that, so that's nice. Okay, so actually, before I continue with highlighter, I'm going to move on to lashes, and uh, <laughs> I didn't realize I hadn't actually finished the eyeshadow part of my face because I still have to add a little bit of eyeshadow down here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these. These are the uh, premium lashes by Shop Miss A and these are in the style Carleen. I, I definitely need to try out different lashes. I became so obsessed with these that these are the only thing that I use. But I do want to try out different things here on my channel. I had just become so 
so comfortable with these because they work for me and they are only a dollar and 55 cents so every time i go to uh, the drugstore or even uh, to ulta or sephora and i see lashes and they're usually like five and up or even like 18 to 20 dollars i'm just like why why would i pay that <laughs> if i am only paying like a dollar for these you know but um i did tell myself that for this new year i will be trying out different lashes so lashes are on and i almost forgot about mascara this one was recommended by one of you guys so the person who recommended this said the essence last princess mascara and then in parentheses they put i like the waterproof so that is the one i got i've never tried out this mascara before so i'm really excited okay so the applicator looks pretty nice and i'm mostly gonna see the effect of this mascara on my lower lashes because i have falsies on but i'm still gonna apply some on my natural lashes and the falsies so they can stick together oh crap <laughs> i forgot <laughs> all right guys sorry i forgot i still have to apply the eyeshadow i'm gonna go in into the shade the og so now I'm going to go in with the mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, that seems to apply very nicely. I think I like it. It's nice. I'll definitely keep testing it out so that I can get the full effect of what it's like. Um, excuse the noise, just trying to get a palette. So I am going to save the highlighting part like on my cheeks for last because I do like to do setting mist before highlighter. But I do want to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eye and under the brows. Alright, so I'm just going to go in to that first shade called Impulse and apply it on the inner corners. You can see a little bit of it, but I think you either have to spray it with some setting mist or you have to like keep applying more for the product to really show up. Because it's not as intense as I hoped. Okay, yeah. So applying a little bit more is helping. All right, you guys, so moving on to lips, I have a few <laughs> items here. So we're gonna start with a uh, lip liner and I'm not too sure which one I want to use, but both of these are from NYX. One of you guys suggested a NYX lip liner. Um, I believe the shade uh, that was suggested was in the shade Espresso. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that at my local Ulta or uh, in Target. So I just went ahead and chose two different shades. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade uh, called Natural. And this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner. Oh, wow. This thing glides on so nicely. I really like this, you guys. This was super easy to apply. It just like went on so effortlessly. So I have two lip items from ColourPop here. Well, actually three because there's two lip glosses in here. So I'm not sure if I want to do the matte lipstick and then the lip gloss on top or if I just want to try out the lip gloss by itself. I have tried um, ColourPop liquid lipsticks in the past, like years ago, so I don't remember if I like these or not. I think these were pretty good, um, but the lip glosses themselves, I haven't really tried them out. So I think I'm going to go with just the lip gloss. So these are the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss, and uh, the little set I got was in Fly With Me, so it came with both of these. I got it for $10. Um, it looks like one of them has a lot of shimmers. I don't think I want that right now. And then this one just looks like a regular gloss. Um, I'm very intrigued about the whole plumping situation. Um, ooh, that looks nice. So this is one of the glosses. This one is in the shade Viceroy. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what this one looks like. And then this one is in the shade She's Here. So let me swatch it next to it. Oh my goodness, that looks really pretty too. I don't know if the, the camera catches that, but both of these look really nice. I think I'm going to go in with the first one and apply that all over the lip. It's definitely glossy. I should have <laughs> applied more, more of the lip liner like in this area of my lips because even though this uh, lip gloss has some pigment to it, you can still see 
<laughs> my natural lips a little bit like peeking through so my camera died <laughs> but i went ahead and applied more of the lip liner on my lips because my <laughs> actual lips were peeking through the lip gloss so this is not super super pigmented um where you can wear it by itself if you're wearing a lip liner but as you guys saw it did have a little bit of pigment um when i swatched it on the back of my hand i don't mind the stickiness too much and the lip gloss itself smells really nice and it feels like slightly tingly um it's not like super crazy it's not one of those crazy uh plumping lip glosses so i feel like this might be a lip gloss <laughs> that i will carry around with me uh for when i don't feel like putting on actual lipstick and I just want a little something on my lips so for setting mist I don't have a new one so I am gonna go in with my morphe continuous setting mist and I do think of morphe as drugstore because I feel like their items are still pretty affordable with the prices of drugstore makeup going up um, they are very similar to morphe prices all right you guys so we finally made it to highlighter I'm going in to the shade impulse I don't know how I feel <laughs> about this like okay okay so we can see a little bit more showing up but this is definitely one of those subtle highlighters I feel like because if you want a more intense glow you definitely have to go back in and get some more because that barely showed up the first time there we go so that's showing up a little bit more now. It does seem to be a little bit chunky. Um, so it, I feel like it's definitely emphasizing my texture a bit. So the contour part of the palette was great. I really enjoyed it. I felt like it blended out very well. But I didn't like the highlighter. I'll have to try out the other two shades. But the first shade didn't work out for me very well. But because of how affordable this is, I would probably repurchase it just because of the contour shades. And I still have to try out the other two shades on top. So I just have to test this out a bit more. But this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope that you like it. I think it turned out pretty well. So the things that I really liked and that I think I started to fall in love with were the eyebrow pencil for sure. That was amazing. I loved it. Um, the Halo glow setting powder this one was really nice as well i really like it um another thing that i really liked was this blush i have to see how it wears throughout the day but the application was like so easy the pigments was there um this looks really beautiful i love the shade the concealer i'm not sure yet i feel like i still need to test it out a bit more it looks nice it blended out great but i'm not 100 sure how i feel about it yet and then the luminous putty primer I don't know um, I think it performed great I think I'm not sure if it did as good as this one I feel like this one this is just the regular poreless putty primer this one fills in my pores so well this one I think it filled in my pores pretty well too but I think the shimmer that it has kind of like threw me off a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure. I'll have to keep testing this one out too. The Maybelline Dream Radiant Foundation. I think I really like this. I felt like this blended out beautifully. It felt really nice um, afterwards because at the beginning it did feel a little bit heavy. But afterwards it doesn't feel like super heavy on the skin or anything. It definitely gave my skin a very natural finish and a little bit of a glow so i really like the way this looks um, i will definitely keep trying it out i do also have to test uh the first one that they came out with which was the dream urban cover foundation this one says it has spf 50 and that it is full coverage i'm not too sure what the finish of this is supposed to be i have to look more into it the fierce by nature morphe palette it is so beautiful and i think it's pretty affordable because i think this one is around 23 or 25 dollars and it has all of these beautiful shades um i do have to play around with this a little bit more to make sure that the shadows blend blend out well because i had you know the little issue going on with my eyeshadow today this mascara seems to be pretty 
good. It definitely helped my eyelashes look thicker and longer, so I will definitely keep trying this out. And then the lip liner, you guys. I love this lip liner, and I really like that this one is retractable. I'm not sure if the one that you guys suggested was retractable or not, but I really like that I don't have to sharpen this one. The other one I got, you do have to sharpen, but I will see how I like this one. But all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.